the aim of this tutorial is to create a voice bot or a voice enabled virtual agent which you can call on a number from a, your mobile phone and you can have a natural conversation with your voice bot there is no coding necessary um, all you need to do is some configuration so you'll need two logins or two accounts one will be for Twilio and then another one for IBM Cloud so the first setup we'll look at is Twilio and within Twilio you need to go to El Elastic Sip Trunking um, I called if you, when you created you need to give a name to your trunk I call it Watson Voice Agent if you go to origination you can enter the SIP address you get from IBM Cloud when you create your voice agent and we'll, you'll see that portion just now and then you can also create a number um, I did create a, a South African number um, eventually I had problems registering the number and I just went for a US number also added to this is you've got to load some credit most probably on Twilio in order for you to to add that number and um, and make calls so here I am at my IBM Cloud um, login console so I'll just log in here and then go to the process of creating my voice agent so within IBM console here is my resource list so I can click on create resource and then within the resource catalog I can just um, search for voice agent and I get the option to to create a voice agent um, I'm currently on the live plan so I can get the live version for free um, I put an existing version so I'm not an existing voice agent so I'm not going to create this I'll head back to my resource list and show you what my current um, my current voice agent look like agent with Watson when I go to manage you will see that my um, agent endpoint is listed here so this I can just copy and use that in my Twilio number configuration <coughs> I currently don't have any SMS endpoints configured. If I go to managing my service, you will see that um, these are the elements that make up my voice agent with Watson. There's a text to speech element, a speech to text element, and also the conversation portion, which is uh, which is um, Watson Assistant. So these elements constitute the um, Watson voice agent. So let's head to the assistant portion. I think it's worth noting that I had to create all these um, services within the Washington DC region for it to talk to each other. So let me just launch Watson assistant here. So this portion holds the intense entities and dialog flow and also um, the script actual wording of the bot and you also see that I do the translation portions here so once I'm in my assistant portion I will launch my voice gateway conversation or skill so you can see all the intents are listed 
on the entities and also the dialogue. So here's a simple dialogue portion where I switch the TTS to German. Um, I use the German voice detail and I've got my German text in there. Um, switch back to English. Um, let's take another example. When I switch to, I set the variable for the language configuration to Italian, Francesca's voice. And let me just show you also different voices in English. So I've got Mike, Lisa, Kate, Alison here. So if we go to Alison again, I set the config English, English and the local is US. And I make use of Alison's voice. So, and then also within the intents. So the text to speech, uh, the speech to text passes the text to the bot and then these intents are recognized um, and the right portion within the dialogue is invoked. So this short overview should give you enough to get started and to create your, your very own um, voice bot.